and welcome back you guys welcome back to my channel for those of you guys that are new my name is Miguel Anaya and this is my YouTube channel in today's video I am going to be doing something completely different you guys I am going to be trying to follow somebody else's makeup routine you guys so if you guys want to know how this turns out hit the subscribe button and press the notification bells and also stay tuned for this video all right you guys let's go ahead and get this tutorial started I am going to be following Desi Perkins makeup tutorial in the one that she did with Sir John Sir John does her makeup so let's see if I learn a thing or two from him in the video the first thing that they do is they moisturize the face so I'm just gonna go in with my MAC strobe cream I know that they didn't use the strobe cream by MAC but this is all I have to work with right now so let's just moisten me up let's look like Beyonce let's be glowing bitch in the video they did go ahead and do eyebrows next he uses like a wax based pencil and then he sets it with powder and then he goes in with any kind of glue um, i only had elmer's glue so i'm gonna go in with elmer's glue as my brow gel i did go ahead and do my eyebrows off of camera you guys the same exact way i just wanted to save a little bit of time i didn't want this tutorial to be forever so i did go ahead and do all of the steps as listed um i'm just gonna go in with elmer's glue and I got this and I'm gonna do it just like he did it I'm just gonna comb my brow hairs down um, I'll be very honest you guys this is something that I have done in the past and I did forget how much it works you guys so what I do is I like to brush the hairs in the opposite direction and really get the glue in there and then I just kind of brush up I do love how this looks you guys it really does hold all day I will say that again I have done this in the past I just totally forgot about this it's like an old drag secret same thing on this side all right you guys so we're gonna go ahead and get started on the eyes just like sir john did in the video he did say that he likes to work with an emollient eye pencil that's like an eye coal as a base he doesn't like to use uh concealers or primers on the eyelid so i'm not gonna do none of that he went ahead and he lined like the eye entirely i did notice that he kind of did like a little bit of like a triangle like on the outside of the eye and then also on the inside I did notice that he kind of ran it like pretty down into the tear duct so I'm gonna do the same this is how it should look I know it looks a little weird but let's just go with it all right you guys so I'm just gonna blend out the eye coal into my eye I go back and forth just like he did in the video I really blend everything out and I smoke everything out into the brow bone and a little bit higher a little bit a little bit underneath the water line and same thing on the other side just back and forth motion i'm gonna go a little underneath the water line and just slowly get a good nice creamy base for the eyeshadow and he also does go ahead and deepen up a little bit right here so i think we're at a really good place i like how this looks i'm going in with costa rouge just in the water line and i'm gonna try to tight line like really really tight even though it's not coming out super tight this isn't a step that he did i'm I'm gonna add it on here the reason that i'm doing it is because i just really want to emphasize the lash line and i really want it to look super smoky so again just an eye coal in the lash line i'm tight lining it then i'm gonna go back in with that flat brush and i'm slowly just gonna tap on the edges of that eye coal you guys the color of that eye coal was costa riche by mac i love that color it's very very beautiful so i'm just going in there with costa riche I just do like a tapping motion. I kind of like tap and pull down, you guys. And he is very right about using eye coals as a, a base. For the eyeshadow, I do like how it's coming out. I feel like it's like a very grungy, effortless look. And that's definitely how Beyonce's makeup is the majority of the time. Very effortless. So next, I'm going to go ahead and do eyeshadow. Um, He obviously used the palette that he has from The Lion King. I obviously don't have access to that yet. But I'm going to go in with this color. And the name of this color is Bea Bronze by Milani. This is how the swatch looks. So it's a very beautiful bronze kind of color. I did notice that when he does the eye, he starts off with his fingers. Surprise, surprise. 
that's something that I definitely do. So I am going to do it like I normally do and I go ahead and I start off on the lid. I really pack it on there just like that. Same thing on the other side and it is picking up very beautiful you guys like the shadow is just sticking to these eye coals so well. I make sure that I don't run it past the crease because we're going to blend it out in a little and if you do get it past there it's okay it's not a big deal. And something that I did notice is that he runs the color all the way across like normally I kind of keep the dark color at the end of my eye then I lighten up right here the tear dark but no no ma'am he likes to run that shit all the way through which is cool it's just a full full smoky eye and again you know Beyonce is his client Beyonce does have a completely different eye shape than mine so let's do it the B way so I got the color nice and beautiful on there now that I got the color in there I'm gonna go in with the Morphe M507 and just really start softening and pulling up the color like towards the crease now same thing on this side you know it's really funny looking at the makeup video that he does with Desi I do hear him say that sometimes he has like 10 minutes to do a client's makeup sometimes he has 20 minutes if he's lucky to do a client's makeup you know as a makeup artist you guys because I don't know if you guys know this but I am also a professional makeup artist I don't only do makeup on myself I do do makeup on other clients some of the best work that I've done has literally been in the times that I am like in the biggest time constraint and I'm being very pressured so that was really interesting to find out as I'm loving how this is turning out it looks so beautiful let's keep it moving now with my Mac 224 s brush s meaning synthetic I'm gonna go in and just slowly start pulling the color into the crease I'm using this brush because again it's like the 224 but it's the synthetic version I feel like it just is a lot more like pointy so I'm just gonna use that to deposit the color right on there you guys that this is something that I did notice that he did he runs the color all the way through that way you get a nice and a beautifully transitioned I'm just going back to the other eye and making sure that everything's even all right you guys so with my Mac 224 regular version I'm just gonna go in the crease and lightly start blending the color saddle into there now we're changing textures this is a matte um and I also did notice in the tutorial that uh, Sir John does the same thing he changes from shimmer to matte I'm sure this is very common we all do that and he says he kind of uses the brush like a little magic eraser to really diffuse this line I'm doing like a tapping motion because I don't want the line to be more apparent I'm gonna be doing the same thing on this side all right you guys and now what Sir John does is eyeliner underneath the eyes before he does concealer or anything he says he likes to use very minimal product so I am going to do that and he used the same eye coals all the way across and I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M507 and just start to smoke out the bottom lash line and I do like a tapping motion back and forth and I notice that he blends it out then puts another layer then blends it out so I'm working with this very very slowly he did like a pulling motion that's something that I normally do and make sure that I do it more I do like a tapping and pulling motion and then I go back in with another layer of that eye coal just really start working it into the under eye and give that really smoky very grungy look so John said that makeup is all about placement you guys and I a thousand percent believe in that the way we do a smoky eye on someone my age is going to be completely different than we do a smoky eye on someone that's younger than completely different than someone with mature skin so always keep that in mind product placement and I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on this side off camera for right, you guys and I am going to go back in with my 224 with the color taupe and I'm just gonna softly define the brow bone and the crease this is what Sir John uses so he does like a very light amount of it looks very good on camera and in photo let's be the judge of this let's see how it turns out same thing on this side just going on the brow bone and as soon as I'm done with that I'm gonna go back into the under eyes with um, a little bit of eye cream I'm gonna be using my fast response by MAC I'm just putting it right underneath my under eyes 
try. This is something that Sir John does whenever he's working on a client. Dabbing a little bit. I'm gonna go a little bit into the eye makeup, but I really don't have to do anything. I feel like um, the blend is very well, and I feel like I follow direction very well, which I'm shocked. So this is how it looks up until this point. So you guys, I did go ahead and do my lashes. I used the lashes uh, by Kiss. They're called Naked Drama. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of moisturizer, just like Sir John did. Just lightly moisturize the face. So you guys, as soon as the face is moisturized, I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible Matte Foundation. I wanna do something that's drugstore and totally accessible to everybody. My shade is 309. And I'm just gonna go in and really press it into the skin. Sir John does state in the video that he likes to really put foundation on as soon as he's done moisturizing the face because as the moisturizer dries down the foundation gets absorbed by the skin also and it sets a lot nicer I noticed that he works in very thin thin layers you guys so just keep that in mind and I'm trying to be the thinnest I possibly can with this and I'm trying to work in very very tiny tiny layers he didn't get too close to the under eyes which that's actually something I'm very used to doing shocking Especially with the look like this, I feel like it's like already smoky, you kind of really don't have to do much. He did say that he likes to get the coverage on there first and then he'll go back in and warm up the face and add dimension to it. So I'm just gonna stay right there, I feel like I'm in a comfortable place with this, but I'm actually just gonna tap it into the skin a little bit more, just to really get the color right on there. He didn't really put too much on the forehead, which it doesn't shock me. Forehead, you really don't need that much foundation. He did use a beauty blender, I like to work with these MAC beauty wedges, I really feel like they're the best thing. Alright you guys, and with whatever's remaining, I'm just gonna go onto the forehead and just slightly even it out. Nothing too crazy so this is the finished product as far as foundation I'm very happy body is a lot tanner I do have a fake tan on you so just ignore that don't forget to get your ears we always love the ears covered up let's cover everything let's catfish the right way hello well you guys it makes such a huge difference when you actually spend the time really pressing the foundation into the skin so make sure you guys do that I literally feel like I have no makeup on my face because now that I'm done with this I'm going to go in with taupe and I'm going to lightly just trace the edges of my shadow. He said that he likes to do this. It just like adds dimension to the face and it looks beautiful in photographs. And it's very subtle, but I definitely do see what it does for the look. It kind of like helps the concealer and the eyeshadow transition into one another softly without there being like any great concealer line or anything right there. It's actually a really good trick that I love for a smoky eye. I'm definitely going to be doing this myself. I'm going to do the same thing on the top. Now that the lashes are set, I'm going to curl my lash to uh, the natural lash. This is something that he did. I noticed it different. I'm not going to lie, it's kind of hard to really get that in there, but we're going to make it work. It does help. I feel like it definitely lifted the eyes. Next, I'm going to go in with the loose powder underneath the eyes, and I'm going to very lightly set it. I am I'm going to be using like a translucent loose powder. I am using the Chanel loose powder. Something that Sir John did mention was to really make sure that whatever you're using underneath your eyes is that it is a very loose powder very very fine and um also not to use like a foundation powder like your studio fix powder in this area which you know that's something that i have never done but uh some people may do that and that is very true i a thousand percent agree with that keep this area super duper light and minimal because the more we put the more creasy we get you guys that's so very lightly very slowly all right you guys now i'm going to grab a cream bronzer and i'm 
going to slowly start to build up my contour. So John doesn't like to really do much of sharp lines. He likes to work with cream products and really build it on there slowly. So that is exactly what we're going to be doing. And I start off in the back over here and I just kind of really start pulling it down. Tapping motion very, very slow. Very, very slow. Really work it into there. Doing like a circular motion. Really pressing the product into the skin. Because I feel like my skin looks disgusting. I feel like I've been breaking out a lot lately, which is weird because I never break out. So, I need to get on it. Summer is here, honey. We need to be looking beer. But anyways, you so just really tap and work the cream product. I'm actually going to go ahead and grab a beauty blender and press this onto my skin. I really want to make sure that it's nice and that it is on there. Alright, you guys, and now what I'm doing is I'm going in with the matte bronzer. I love this brush, by the way, you guys. This is the same brush that I used to contour. And this is a MAC 180 brush. I love these brushes. Now I'm going to go into the hairline. I am going to, quote unquote, be burning the hairline. I learned a new term. So, let's burn that hairline. This is what Sir John calls bronzing the forehead and the hairline. It's very lightly, you guys. You guys know me. I love me a brown ass forehead. I want it to look like there's brown sugar in my forehead, but he doesn't do it that way, so let's follow directions at least in uh, one second of this tutorial. Let's burn that hairline. Give me a lighter. Give me a match. Give me some gasoline and put it on my hairline because we're burning it. And let's move on to the next step. Now I'm going back in with the color toe on the edges of the face. I'm really carving out and sculpting the face now. I definitely do love more of a cool contour color. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I am using a MAC 137. Just work it very slowly. I smile a little bit and I go down. So it just adds a little bit of dimension. All right, you guys, and now I'm gonna contour my nose. I'm gonna go in in the color taupe again and just lightly contour the edges of my neck. I'm actually really loving the color of my contour, you guys. You know, it's actually really funny because I used to use the color taupe a lot, but I just kind of have it in this palette and I just really just stopped using it. But now I'm like, whoa, one moment, I love this. Doing like a light tapping motion. I'm gonna go back in with that 224 and just lightly they're contouring into the socket of my nose. I love how this is turning out, you guys. I'm like low-key obsessed. Turn my face a little bit to the side and I kind of connect my nose contour onto my eye contour. On the tip, I'm just gonna do a little bit like that to give me like a really pinched nose. Again, you guys, we don't like to breathe oxygen, so we need to make this shit look snatched. All right, I love it. I'm very happy. All right, you guys, so now I'm gonna go in with like a cream highlighter and I'm really gonna warm it up and I start highlighting. I'm gonna use my finger. So John did go ahead and use his finger. I'm just gonna lightly tap it on the edges of my face. You guys, um, as I was watching the tutorial, something that I didn't notice is that he works in a lot of layers. So he'll do um, layers of things. He really layers product. So keep that in mind. Um, look at the difference. So I'm gonna pop some on the other side. Going back in with my MAC 137, I'm just gonna slightly Tap the color, oh darling, right on top of that cream highlight that I created. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Tap it on there nice and slowly, you guys. I do love how this looks. Look at how sickening. And with the same brush, I'm going to go in with my Milani blush in Bellissimo Bronze. And just tap it right over here. Same thing on this side. For lip, what um, I am going to be doing is a tinted lip balm and a lip liner. So John really isn't that big about lips. He likes to keep it minimal. So I'm literally just going to do what they did in the video. And I'm going to be doing a 
tinted lip balm. I am going in with the color Spice. I'm lightly lining my lips and I just soften that line with my fingers and for lip balm I'm gonna go in with Penning Pink by MAC and just dab it in the center. I actually like this, it's like a lot lighter in consistency than what I'm normally used to doing and I feel like it's gonna wear a lot better. You guys, makeup is fun, you gotta do different looks, um, you gotta keep it fun. Guess what can happen if you don't like it at the end of the day? You can wipe it off, okay? <laughs> So have fun you guys, makeup is fun. Um, just to quickly start recapping everything, I really did love the look for today. This is basically the final look. I really do love it. I do notice that uh, Sir John's style is very like camera ready, but very in person, beautiful makeup also. It's not as heavy as like I normally do my makeup, which I don't mind. Again, as I did mention, I do notice that he layers a lot of products. He uses two of everything, a cream and then a powder to typically set it which I really love that rule he really likes to keep it minimal but very impactful and something that he does abide by a lot is definitely placement you guys I feel like in makeup placement literally is everything if you can do a very simple makeup look and you just place everything very properly and very immaculate the look is going to look phenomenal so you guys this was a different type of video than what I'm used to filming I hope you guys really enjoyed this 